Good afternoon. Hunters beware. A UNM study has raised questions about some wild duck meat after researchers found extraordinary levels of chemical contamination in birds near Holloman Air Force Base. News 13's Natalie Watt has talked to the experts about how widespread the problem could be. Wild game doesn't come with uh, warning stickers. It's the Environment Department's reaction to a major discovery of chemical contamination in southern New Mexico's wild birds. We were shocked by the results. We've seen wildlife PFAS data from around the world, and the concentrations we're finding at Holloman are as high as, as have been seen at, at chemical spill sites. Uh, near chemical uh, manufacturing facilities. A UNM-led study found extremely high levels of PFOS contamination in nearly two dozen bird and mammal species at the lake near Holloman Air Force Base, an important breeding ground for migratory birds that researchers say is now toxic, with levels nearly three or four times the amount that's considered dangerous. There's this system of wetlands that were intended to catch wastewater from the Air Force Base, and they have also been catching PFAS runoff over the decades. Those man-made chemicals don't break down easily and accumulate in living tissue. PFAS affects the endocrine system, thyroid function, the immune system. It causes cancer. It causes developmental defects. Uh, and, uh, so, and, and it does so even at very low concentrations in the body. Researchers here at UNM have found that the ducks at Holloman Air Force Base were extraordinarily contaminated to the point where humans shouldn't be consuming them at all. It turns out that it's on the scale of milligrams per week that would be safe to consume. So basically there's no safe consumption level for duck meat from Holloman Air Force Base. And those species migrate. It's a hemisphere wide issue and pollutants are being uh, transported across the hemisphere by these migratory birds. That could mean anywhere in New Mexico. It's not a story about a contaminated lake here in no southern New Mexico. It's a story about uh, anyone who likes to go hunting and f hunting and fishing or who like to eat wild game and serve it at their table. Their food may be highly toxic coming from hundreds of miles away, if not thousands of miles away. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. The Environment Department is now pushing for more PFAS testing around New Mexico to see if birds in other areas are also contaminated.